Hi, sorry we just got cut off on the last video, uh, but what we're, what we're doing before was the Ionian mode, the G-Ionian, which is the natural major scale, and it goes G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, and if you play it over both octaves, it's... Now there's two ways to look at the modes. You can look at them in relative, which is what we're going to do first, meaning that we're just using the exact same notes in the G major scale, but we're starting on the different mode. So in this case, when we do the uh, Dorian mode, A Dorian, it's the second note of the notes in the G major scale, which is G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. So you start on the A. Same exact notes on the scale, but we're starting on a different point and it, gets, it gives it a different flavor. There's also another way to look at the modes when you see them in parallel, which means we're using different notes, but we're using the scale shape. So we'll play G Ionian, G Aeolian, G Dorian, G Phrygian, G Lydian, G Mixolydian. Those will stay in the same position but use different notes, and that way you get to hear the complete different nature of the scales. And like I said before, remember on the, on the uh, modes, I don't play like my awful landlord. The Ionians considered a major scale, the Lydians considered a major scale, the Mixolydians considered a major scale, with slight differences. The Dorian, Phrygian, and Aeolian are considered minor scales, with the Locrian, that's the oddball, since it's considered a diminished. Okay? So here we go. We did the major scale for G, Ionian. Now we're going to start on the A, and then you hear A Dorian. So it goes A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A. See? And we'll play it over both octaves. See how it sounds a little different? Same exact notes in the G, uh, G Ionian. But since we're starting on the A, it sounds different. And now we're going to go to the B Phrygian, which is the third mode. So it goes B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. And that's the uh, B Phrygian. We'll do it over both octaves. I'm oh, sorry. Now we have the B Phrygian. Let me do that one more time cleaner so you can hear it. Okay, the next one is the C Lydian. That's another major scale. Same notes, we're starting uh, four down, and this is considered a major scale. So we start on the uh, tenth position. So it's C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. I will do that on both octaves. I'm sorry. That's the C Lydian. Now we'll do the Mixolydian. It starts in the tenth position on the D. And it's D, E, uh, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, So it's, we're almost there. Now we're going to the E Aeolian, which is a natural minor scale. And it starts on the E. So it's E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. And over both octaves. not least we're going to the Locrian and usually mostly jazz players use this because it's neither a major or minor scale and we'll start on the F sharp right here and now we're going down to the um, uh, 12, 13, 14th fret so it's F sharp G A B C D E 
that sharp. So it's. And now for both octaves. And you've got the low grin. Whether you believe it or not, you've done all the different modes, and it's in relative position. You can see, you can pretty much play anywhere you want on the neck if you're in G major, but usually most people don't write major, not most people, most bands don't do it, especially rock bands in major keys, they do it in minor keys. So G major is the same as E minor. So the Ionian mode, is a, they're all the same, but usually when people solo write songs, it's gonna be the Aeolian mode, which is E minor. So you can see, you could use the whole fretboard. Now let's do it all in relative so you get a flavor of the different scales. And now you've done it all, okay? Now there's another way to look at this. They say you can also look at it in parallel. When I'm saying in parallel, it means we're not using the same notes, but we're using the same scale shapes. And that's why I want you to have those different sheets of paper. When you put it together, you can always stop and pause the video. Put the notes where you see the notes are in the different positions. So if I'm doing the Ionian and I'm starting on the third position, it should look, you should have a dot on the third fret and the fifth fret on the sixth string then another dot on the fifth string on the second fret and the third fret and the fifth fret and then another dot on the third string I'm sorry on the fourth string on the second fret the fourth fret and the fifth fret that's over one octave find those other notes at your homework assignment on the second octave and what you're learning is the actual pattern for the Ionian mode because you want to be able to play not just G Ionian but A Ionian, B Ionian, C Ionian move up the neck and it's important to know that scale because once you figure out the notes of a, a song that's how you figure out what key it's in you take all the chords that you're playing and find out where they fit in the scale and you know where the keys are in we've already covered all the different notes on the guitar so this is giving you the tools that with a little work you can figure out for yourselves and trust me when I tell you it's going to make you invaluable to another band that you understand how to do this. So let's hear these scales in parallel so you can hear the different sounds. Now here's a major sc scale, the Ionian. See how happy it sounds. That's so happy it's disgusting, isn't it? But the Dorian sounds a little bit more sadder but not quite as sad as the Aeol Aeolian. tone on that and then here's a G Phrygian this sounds a little bit more uh, sometimes they say like Middle Eastern sounding that's over one octave then you have the uh, uh, Lydian which uh, sounds a little bit more brighter see the different tones keep doing that I want you to practice for the different ones for the Locrian, the Aeolian also, here's the natural minor if you're in the G major scale and that's the saddest sounding one these are all real important but now we got the modes on the next video we do I'm going to show you how to Steve took this information knowledge and created his own style especially on his rhythm and lead work so I hope this video helps you a lot I'm sorry in the last video I did I forgot to upload the uh, Phrygian scale so uh, this puts the Phrygian on there. They're all put together. And thanks for watching. Hurricane Joe.